who I'm compared to the most since she's came out and she was actually a contestant on the show, American Idol, which is Fantasia Barino. Like, when she came out and everybody heard her, and then they would hear me sing, they're going like, you know, you sound like Fantasia, you know? And um, that was a trip to me because before she came out, people compared me to maybe um, Tina Turner. I've heard some people say I sing kind of hard like her or um, even somebody as great as Gladys Knight. You know, I've heard so many different things, but to me, I just feel like I sound like myself, you know? <laughs> like I have my own unique flair. So far, being a part of American Idol for me has been surreal. Like, it, it's believable, but it's not believable. I've been having to literally look in the mirror and go, are you kidding me? You know, you make the show, I mean, 36, you know, you own the show. I'm just so elated from the time I've started in Kansas City up until Hollywood week, up until knowing that I made the show has been unreal for me. But it's been the greatest time of my life. Like, it is so great, I love it. I've loved every moment of it. After the show aired, yes, I was being recognized so much that when I walked in grocery stores, um, my favorite store is Walmart. <laughs> I just have to admit, I love Walmart. They have everything. And um, when I went in there, one of the clerks recognized who I was, and she's like, aren't you Lil, Lil Rounds, you know? So by this time, she said it so loud, people started coming from different aisles. I mean, pulling out pen, paper. Can we have your autograph? I'm like, oh, oh wow, you know? It was so, it was weird, but it was a good weird, you know? Because I had never experienced anything like that before, but it was great. <laughs> I believe that Simon Cowell has to be the most honest judge you'll ever want to meet. I mean, he's so honest, sometimes you're just like, oh. But um, he told me during Hollywood week, he said, um, I sung a song and he told me he wanted me to be more contemporary because I was a young artist and they were trying to see who I wanted to be and where was I was trying to go as an artist. So he wanted me to sing songs, you know, that kind of was more of who I'm trying to be or where I'm trying to go. So that stuck with me. So now I'm like, okay, I know, you know, where I kind of want to go. I know, you know, pretty much what I want to do. And I know I need to stay young because I'm just 24. So, you know, the songs I sing, he's right, should be more contemporary, you know, songs people can really feel more and understand where I'm coming from more.